Hello everyone, Helen here and welcome to my channel. Today I will be playing with the box of the month and this is a hashtag driven hop which is hashtag sunflowers and honey. So here are the contents of the card kit. So you'll get three stamp sets and I just showed you the first two. One has a bear and then the other one has a sunflower and the other one is a gnome themed. You'll get a pack of ephemera and then here's one of two paper packs that come with it. And this one is called uh, Sunflower Bees. And this one has a really pretty blue and yellow, golden yellow colors on it. And now I'm gonna show you the Honey Bear, which is my favorite from this kit because I just love yellow. It's just such a happy and vibrant color that I just love it um, paired with the black. It's just so cute and of course, you know, with the bee and the gnomes, it's just just the cuteness factor of this whole kit is just bursting out the seams. <laughs> um, I didn't show you that it does come with a sequence mix. I can't find it anywhere, but I will le leave a link to Jamie's um, video where she shows it. And then I also brought in my Stampin' Up! Circles and Scallop uh, die. And I did go ahead and color my images with simple Copic coloring. I am using a Mojo Monday sketch, which is on the top left of your screen there that you see. And so while I'm assembling this, I wanted to talk about how you can win a $25 gift card for from the Not Too Shabby Shop. So basically, um, if you want to see all the participants, you can click on the hashtag that you see up there on my title. So it's the hashtag sunflowers and honey. And from there, you will see a list or um, the participants um, who made videos for this. And then I want to encourage you to comment and like their posts. And then after you do that, you can go to the raffle copter link that I have down below. So you can fill that in. And so Jamie will choose a winner on June 8th. So this uh, giveaway closes on the 7th and then she'll announce it on her YouTube channel, like I said, on June 8th. So good luck and I hope that uh, you enjoy this hop and you get lots of inspiration. Um, last month's card kit sold out in less than four hours. So I think I have no doubt that this will sell out. Um, I did um, hear that she did order a few more kits um, just in case, um, but I am in love with the gnomes. Like, I just want to collect them all, and I'm kicking myself in the butt that I didn't get the gnomes from last month's kit because the illustrator of these gnomes are just, like, these gnomes are just so adorable. Like, I just love them. So um, as you can see, instead of me cutting a square, I did just die cut a circle. I just feel like it softens the card up because I don't know, I just needed a little softness to it. And I just feel like a circle softens the card up because of all the rectangles and the rigid edges, if that makes any sense. So that's why I chose to cut a circle. Um, but however, you can still use a square and you won't need any dies. And again, as I mentioned, this is from the Mojo Monday sketch. Um, I will have all the products I use down below. And I will also have a picture of the sketch up on my blog post, which I will also have linked down below. So I did mat my cards with black cardstock and the other one, one of them is matted with a dark brown cardstock. And I tried to use like an image from each stamp set just so I can show you guys a little bit of a variety and give you some ideas on how you can use this. Um, one of the stamp sets has like this cute little bear that I didn't get to use, but I'll use that in another um, card because I've already designed 20 cards, you guys. So there's two more videos coming for me, which is 10 cards, one kit. So be on the lookout for that. And because I will be focusing on 
each pattern paper and I'll also be using an ephemera. So here I'm just placing my colored images where I want them to go and then I knew I wanted to add the detail of this, um, you know, the, the, oh gosh, what do you call that? I'm losing my train of thought, <laughs> but you get what I'm saying. And I did kind of make a boo-boo there and so I decided to just cover it up with a B. And then, um, as you can see, that big leaf right there, that's actually supposed to be from the tree from one of the stamp sets. And I didn't realize that until after I looked at how big it was, like when I was editing. But I was like, you know what, that's okay. Um, because no one's going to know, right? Well, I mean, now you guys know, but that's okay. Um, anything goes with card making. And then here, I'm just putting some glue on this gnome. And I just... Like, I know I said it before, but I just love the gnomes. And the sequence mix that comes with this, and I apologize that I don't have it. You know, I didn't show you guys in the beginning because I really can't find it. I don't know where I put it. Um, it's so adorable, and it's made by um, exclusively from uh, This Calls for Confetti. And it has, like, really, it's a beautiful mix with polymer clay in there, so... It's really fun and you can decorate the gnomes hats with it like where there's like a bee that's attached to their hat so I thought it was cute because I saw Jamie do that with one of her cards um, so I'm gonna find it so I'm gonna try to incorporate that in um, my 10 cards one kit video when I use the ephemera and paper with this and so I didn't put the sentiment in front of my card because I didn't have a lot of white space on my circle there. So I opted to just put it inside. And this one reads sunflower wishes and honeybee kisses. And then I decided to incorporate the bee with the stitched lines. And I thought it's really cute. And you can color this in, but I left it black and white. And then since I can't find the sequence mix that matches this, I uh, looked through my stash and I found some of these circle polymer clay um, embellishments. And I'm just going to scatter these around where it's pleasing to my eye and that will finish up my three cards. So don't forget to visit all of the participants participating in this hop. You will be for sure wowed by their creations because Jamie's um, design team is just amazing. And so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.